Right. So look at that little dot. Please do introduce yourself. My name's Elaine Parker. I'm 48. I'm writing a book about Dennis Price, a biography. And what inspired you to write this book? Um, I just think he's such a brilliant actor. He's so underrated. And um, things that are written about him now tend to slag him off a bit. But I want to put the record straight. And how have you managed to put the record straight? How have you uncovered these facts? By talking to the people that knew him best, his friends and uh, people that work closely with him. What is it about Dennis Price that really appeals to you? Uh, well, there's two things, basically. He was a terrific actor and he was very good looking. <laughs> and how difficult was it to research into his life? I'd say it was extremely difficult because he was a very private man and some parts of his life were particularly hard to research. What research did you manage to uncover? Who have you spoken to? Well, um, I was very lucky to speak to his manager and his Radley uh, schoolmaster and people like Ian Carmichael who knew him very well. And what, what did this research show up that you, know, you found the most revealing or exciting, interesting information? Um, I think it was the unusual relationship he had with his manager. It was rather eccentric. And they used to go around playing practical jokes on people. They were a couple of jokers. And they just seemed to have such a strange relationship, friendship. Did you speak to his manager? I did. I had a, an exclusive interview in 1987 in the manager's home in Enfield. What do you think people will find most interesting about reading your book? Revelations about his private life, I think, that haven't been um, previously reported on. And when will people be able to buy this book? Well, I'm hoping it'll be ready by the end of the year. Very exciting. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about Dennis Price? Um, I just think everybody should know a lot more about him, because when you watch him in Kydots and Cornets, you often wonder, well, what was it all about? What was his life 